What's up guys, this is Dan at Crazy Bad Puzzles. I've decided to uh, start making videos again on this channel. It's been seven months since I've made a video. The reason for that is because uh, I was just really concentrating on my other channel and some other priorities in my life. But now I've been freed up, I don't have any more distractions, and I think it's time to start getting on to this channel. The thing I love about this channel compared to my Rubik's Cube channel is this has all sorts of different types of puzzles. It's got tons of different types, and I'm not just a Rubik's Cube guy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really, really love my Rubik's Cubes. I mean, these things are fun, they're, they're super fun, but like... There's nothing better than solving a puzzle that's actually challenging. So, let's actually solve a challenging puzzle. And if you've never seen my other channel, you may have noticed on this channel at least, my background has changed, everything has changed. I got puzzles up in the background here and I've got an overhead camera which is showing you all the pieces of a new puzzle. So this puzzle here is called Edelweiss 9.0 and the reason it's called Edelweiss 9.0 is because there's also a 4.0 and the 4.0 only has four of these pieces and it's not as challenging. So this puzzle consists of nine pieces and then you put it inside of this frame. But I've never actually solved this puzzle, so what I'm gonna do is solve it without this first and then just place it in if I can solve it. The cool thing about this puzzle is that each of these pieces is completely different from the next piece and there's four orientations obviously and two sides. So that leaves a lot of possibilities and I really like the jagged look. So I'm pretty sure these pieces are cut from a laser cutter which is creating that black dark stain look around the edges which I personally really like. It gives a nice good rustic feel to it and the logo on the tray is also really really nice. Definitely nicely etched in. Got some metal rivets and everything is just really really well put together with this puzzle. I've had this puzzle for almost a year and I've never actually attempted solving it. It scares me. There's something about this puzzle that, that literally makes me go, uh-uh. So I bought some candy to help me feel better about it. So really the only clue I have here is that there's five white pieces and four red pieces. So it must, uh, it must go like this somehow. But that's really all I have to go on on this puzzle. So because of that, I know that one of these pieces is the centerpiece, and I don't know which way they're supposed to be flipped at all. Um, so I'm just gonna have to start guessing, and I'm gonna just kind of move one and see if I can find something that matches at all. And I mean, really, it's a searching game, so you know that one matches here. Let's see if I can find another one that matches on this side. Wow, I found it right there. And let's see if I can find another one that does not match. All right, so I have three. If I've done this correctly, this one should fit in here somewhere. It fit together. Actually, that was kind of fluky that it went together. But let's see if I can find one that fits with this now. All right, so I found one that fits here, and I know this one fits here, but do they fit together? Uh, they do not fit together. So I need to try the next one. Okay, that fits together. Do these fit together? And they do fit together. Wow, actually, I, I thought this puzzle was going to be a heck of a lot harder, but that's, that's, I don't know, I'm not getting ahead of myself. That's what I'm saying right now. Uh, but let's see if everything starts to work out more. Oh, that one fits right there. So let's see if this fits inside and it does. I think, I think that I got lucky with that one. That one fits here. Does it fit here? And it does not fit there. So I have tried every last possibility. Neither of these fit with this one. Uh, it's so deceiving. I thought I was so excited. Ugh. I'm literally starting again from the beginning. There's such a tease at the beginning letting me have so many pieces. Okay, try another one. Found two that fit together exactly perfectly. All right, so we're back to here again. 
See, I got so far and then it just won't, none of these three will fit here anymore. All right, we're starting again. <laughs> That one fits, so now this, if, if this is correct, this has to be the centerpiece. So which means that this one has to go here somehow. All right. Oh, maybe it is looking good. It is looking good. Oh man, if this piece, this one right here, if this one does not fit inside of this, I am going to, well, I'm going to try again, but I'd, I'd probably be a little bit mad. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Did it. Oh my God. I got to say that was giving me actually some anxiety. Time to fill this in. So this one here, that one there, this one here. Oh, success. This is the Edelweiss 9.0. It took me just over an hour to solve this. I have no idea if there's any other solutions to this puzzle or not. I'm really happy that I was able to solve this thing. So there's only one place to actually get this puzzle and that's who sponsored this video, which is puzzlemaster.ca. They sent this to me over a year ago and I've just been procrastinating. So I apologize to them for doing that. Stupid cameras only have 30 minutes of record time at a time because they're not video cameras. So. I actually lost a bunch of footage and then had to start again. So it was actually an hour of record time. It's probably more than an hour of actual time. So I just checked their website. They do have some of these still in stock. If you'd like them, links at the top of the description. I'll be honest, it is an affiliate link, although I don't really make money off of that very much. It's just, I think, more to track if I'm actually getting any people going there or anything. Anyways, guys, if you want to check it out, go ahead. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.